Next on Jersey Matters, longtime state senator Ray Lesniak is officially running for governor. How can he possibly beat a multimillionaire with all the endorsements? He'll tell you. Also, there are reports that a town in New Jersey is going to be like a new Camp David to Donald Trump. What does that mean to the little town of Bedminster? Speaking of Donald Trump, is he going to try to drill for oil off the coast of New Jersey? If he tries it, he's in for a fight. We'll talk to one of the people leading that fight next. Those stories and a whole lot more because Jersey Matters. Welcome to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. We have another candidate for governor in New Jersey, Democratic State Senator Ray Lesniak, who is running now officially for governor of New Jersey. Last time you were here, you were, you were thinking about it, and that was several months ago. Sure. How did you come to this decision? Well, I was, I've been thinking about it for a while because New Jersey is at a tipping point. Uh, it's, it's become unaffordable for so many people. And I have a great record in the Senate. I'm unabashedly... Uh, I'm proud of that. Uh, but government needs to be restructured and reformed uh, to save billions of tax dollars to make New Jersey affordable. And you can't do that in the legislature. Only a governor can do that. You've been around for a long time. You have the second most tenure in, in the Senate. I think 1983 used, uh, was the first time you held office. Why, now? Senate, yes. Why now are you running? Mm -hmm. Well, in the past, I was busy being a champion. And I was satisfied with being a champion for environmental protection. I passed the most progressive environmental protection laws in the country. A champion for criminal justice reform. Again, New Jersey has led the way in fighting mass incarceration. My laws. A champion for LGBT rights. I was in the forefront of marriage equality. A champion, indeed, for animal protection, making New Jersey the humane state. You see, you'd think you'd run back then. But while the you're issue, in the middle of that fight, you'd think you would have well, run because, then. No, because because that I was uh, I was accomplishing v very important things. But there's something that transforms all of those issues, and that is affordability. And New Jersey is a great state, but the political structure is so bad that uh, it's reached a tipping point. And unless we do structural things uh, like uh, having a controller of education, we we waste a billion dollars. I, I have a website, it's going live, and it identifies, it has identified uh, billions of dollars of waste in government people can go see. Good, because we've heard this message before. Sure, but uh, not Many, all. many times. And it seems like there's been false prophets that have come before, and, and there's a big, it's bigger than the governor, but, isn't it? Though? But, I mean, the, the, they, there's a problem yes. with New Jersey government. There's a problem with New Jersey government, and somebody has to bring a wrecking ball to the governmental establishment. How can you win if the other ones have dropped out and says they're basically sure. you're coordinating them? You're right. Grassroots campaign. Wasn't, is, was Jeb Bush uh, sworn in as president? Because he had all the endorsements and he had all the money. Um, things have changed. With social media, and uh, you can connect with, with people these days directly. You can target them, target them with a message. And I have, I believe, not only the best message overall, but I have the best record overall. So. I've, I have achieved things that no one else have, has, and um, I'm ready to take on the structure of government that Democrats and Republicans collude in uh, to, that have made New Jersey unaffordable. Now, because Cory Booker has gotten behind Phil Murphy, because Menendez Everyone. has gotten behind memory, everybody, everybody in the Democratic Party, even though you've been in office for so long, you're yeah. kind of running as the outsider. Well, I am. I, I am because I'm going directly to the people. Again, if it wasn't for social media, I would not be able to run. If it wasn't because uh, I'm a, I ha if, if I wasn't a champion on so many issues that really matter to people, I wouldn't be able to win. And lastly, people are fed up with the establishment. You had a health, a health scare just a few years ago. I did, and minor. You, you've been around for a long time. And none of that's a problem. How do I, you look good. Seriously? You look good. I'm asking you, though. Seriously. I mean, the health is great. I bicycle, I ski, my health is great. So look, look, look at me. Come on. Here. <laughs> yeah, feel it, feel it, feel it. That's impressive. All right. <laughs> I won't even ask you to feel mine because you have me beat. I okay. will promise you, you have me beat. All right. 
Uh, let's talk about pension reform. The, yes. Once again, the state has been downgraded, and it was downgraded, and they specifically said this pension, the way the pension fund is wor working right now, is unworkable and, and untenable. Just, yeah, it's not just pensions. It's also the health care. Right, which is all tied. It, it, yes. it, it is all tied together. Sure. Uh, so right now, first we have to do is make the schedule payments that the unions have been promised. Once we make that schedule payment, we can sit down with the unions and negotiate. So when we negotiate, we can, particularly in a health care uh, area, we can make some reforms uh, with regarding putting people on, on Medicare who are Medicare eligible. There's a prescription um, analytical uh, uh, firms that reduce the cost of prescriptions. Do they have to contribute more to their own health care? I don't think so. Uh, I, let's, let's see what these reforms can do first. I believe that with these reforms and with government making, uh, and, and one last thing, with government making its schedule payments, one last thing, we have to stop pension padding. Our laws allow um, uh, employees and politicians, political friends, to um, get higher pay the last three years that, that they're in office that balloons their pension payments. So, um, and, and, and also sometimes gives them lifetime health benefits that, that they wouldn't be eligible for. We have to put an end to that. All of those things, I believe, can uh, stabilize that our entire... We have to make sure that, that everyone's pension, private or, or public, is, is secure. People shouldn't have to worry about the... And, and the, pensions the will be around. You don't, you don't see them slowly fading away for state employees and going to the 401k system? No, I, because I, that's not reliable. And, and what happens is when it's... When it's and, and it's not helpful because we have all these people drawing these pensions with a uh, $60 billion deficit. So just moving them into 401ks won't help because that, that actually, who's gonna, how's that benefit gonna be made? Yeah, it's not moving. Yeah, I it think doesn't they, work. I, I think, I think for that new the, employees, that's that what I'm talking negotiated. about. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely can be negotiated, but that doesn't help our current system. Exactly. Yeah. And when we come right back, I want to sure. talk about school funding yep. and also the renovations to okay. uh, the state for house. Sure. When we continue our conversation with Democratic State Senator Ray Lesniak and now candidate for governor.